Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here. And today I'm gonna to talk about the new PC client that's in a uh, beta stage and what my opinions are on it. So let's jump into it. So first and foremost, to get the EA client, or to get the, uh, the actual PC app, um, you have to go to ea.com <clears throat> on their homepage, they have download the EA app. So you download this. Once you download it, <clears throat> one thing I noticed is this is what it looks like. When I went to browse and I searched the game, I, I hit Star Wars here and it, it didn't come up with uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes on here for searching. So it wasn't something that I was able to search. So it's important that when you check to see if you were accepted, that you go here to the library. And then when I went into the library, it just, it wasn't installed. It just said my games or something like that. And I was able to install it from here. So if you just look over here from like browse and you try to um, see if you, if you have access to the game, um, it's not going to show up, but if you go here into your library, if you were accepted, it should be here waiting for you and you just like click on it, download it. Um, you'll have to log in. So I did have an EA account. I didn't have it linked to my Google. Uh, when I logged into my, my Google account, um, <clears throat> it linked, it asked me, uh, like, Hey, is, and then I, it like linked up the two. So that's how I was able to link it up. I, I don't know if I can like run multiple instances of this game. I think you would have to like, um, probably have the game open in one, maybe open this app, log out, log into your new one, and then try to open it from there. Um, when I did open this EA app, it did say like, Hey, your, um, your game is already up. Go ahead and enjoy it. But if I think I may be able to like try to launch this, uh, it's it's up to you guys to to kind of figure that out. Maybe you just can run one of these on um, on the the actual client, and the other one you'll have to use BlueStacks or something. Um, I wish I could be more helpful for that, but it's I just don't have multiple accounts right now, so I can't um, I can't really test that out for you. Um, but <clears throat> so far, my opinions of this app is it looks beautiful. Like you can see. It, tons more space tons more space for activities right <laughs> um but <clears throat> as far as the actual look of it and everything it's fantastic i love it it's buttery smooth um one thing for when i first started um it was loading really slow for me um i do live in japan um even though you would think japan is like their internet infrastructure and my internet is advertised as like really fast but their internet infrastructure is kind of convoluted it's really not good um and it really slows things down so i i do have a vpn to a country that's outside of japan and then that made it super smooth because when i was in japan and i was clicking it um it was like i was getting that load circle all the time and it was for a while too it was not like it was like minutes at a time i was getting it the second i went to and used a vpn um like i do if i if i play like a first person shooter to lower the latency um it cleaned that up so if you notice that you're having problems where you click on something and you're just having like crazy long load times try using a vpn um i have one because I, again I'm, I'm american i live in japan so i need access to like my us stuff so i, I have a vpn for that so um if you have one Go ahead and use it and it may fix that issue if you're seeing like incredibly long load times like that um as far as the actual gameplay let's let's jump into here but it is super buttery smooth i am loving it absolutely loving it and it's uh, before i i would like play on my um i would play on my ipad because it wasn't like reliable enough to play blue stacks but now that i have this <clears throat> i'm able to play with the pc client and it looks so good and it's so smooth i am I, i'm telling you i love everything about this it is just so amazingly nice so 
would I recommend it? Like, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, I would recommend if you have access to this to go ahead and uh, and get get it because it just, it's running so smooth. It's really nice. It's a lot more reliable. When I play on blue stacks, it just like randomly crashes on me. I haven't had one crash. I haven't had one issue. I haven't had uh, one drop. And of, of course, I've only been using it for about a day. So, but if I played blue stacks for a day, um, it would it would crash on me. Um, so after I, I finish dumpstering Lay over here, um, I'll I'll run into there you go. So I'll I'll run into something that I did notice. So if you can see, as a streamer, I am on windowed mode I, because if I go to over here um, to the settings and you can go to your graphics settings. If I go to windowed full screen, so if I confirm that, so looks a lot cleaner, right? Like I, I do prefer this. I would love to do this, but let me click on something that's outside of this game. There you go. So I just clicked on something. Uh, I, I clicked on my OBS and it immediately minimized my entire game. So if I go over here and I click back on the game, it brings it in buttery smooth, super perfect. Outside the game dropped. So and the game isn't running on the background. If you if you uh, it pauses it. So if you're running like a battle or something and you um, hit auto and then you click off and you come back like two minutes later expecting to have one, uh, you could lose because <clears throat> it dropped the game. So what I end up doing to fix that is I put it on windowed and I'm not I'm <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan of this right because now I have this white border. One time I actually even click this X over here because I'm so used to um, clicking over here for this that my muscle memory got me to close the entire browser. <laughs> so not not the best. I'm <clears throat> because you know my muscle memory like is still right there to click it. Um, but like it, it works. Uh, let me click on my OBS. See, I clicked on my OBS here. I'm not on the screen. Um, I'm not clicked on the screen and it's still working on the background. So this is my workaround until they fix the uh, the the windowed the full screen mode. But we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, I haven't messed with the graphics at all. Here, let's go do that. Mm, let's revert that. That's garbage. Uh, windowed full screen. Okay. <clears throat> so, all in all, I really do like this. Um, I really do like this. I, I like it. It's smooth. I'm going to use it for Grand Arena. I'm no longer going to use my iPad and mirror onto my computer. I am going to use this uh, this because it, it's so smooth. You can use the keybinds and everything. Um, it's a lot faster. It's, it's a wonderful uh, client so far that I've seen. Uh, there's there's some like visual bugs here or there. So if you go in, sometimes things don't like line up for whatever reason, uh, but I'm, I'm sure they'll fix it. But overall, overall, I am really, really happy with this client. Um, I If you guys have the ability, I would say do it. If you guys were able to uh, get multiple instances running, let me know in the comments because I am interested in that because I am starting uh, a free to play account sometime soon but if you can see like it's just it's so smooth it's so res so responsive it looks it looks so good it looks so good and then like if you look at it compared to blue stacks blue stacks is just um it's it's really unreliable it really is and it, i don't know maybe me more than others but i'm sure we've all seen people lose grand arena matches because their blue stacks just crash um and it like this is running the same as it would run on my phone or my iPad. Um, it's just super, super reliable. So I'm, I am happy with this client overall. Um, so if you don't have access, let me know if you just didn't sign up for it or uh, if you just didn't get selected. Uh, but make sure you do check in your library in that EA folder because you may have access. You just can't search for the game. So other than that, like, let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this content. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers, so would really appreciate. I would re really appreciate it, and it's free. So um, take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time.